name is Ria and this is my big brother. So we both together charging Chara and rocking Ria. Woo! Today we're going to India and it's going to be so exciting because we get because to see because we get to see our grandparents. Exactly, we get to see our grandparents. It's been almost it's been like three years since we see them. Come on, join with us. Oh. All the way to India! Just, we're gonna meet you guys to our cousins and grandparents, everyone! So let's come. Okay, let's go, I guess. Let's get started! Come and join with us! Woo! Woo! And also, we're not excited, we're really, really excited. Not just I'm excited, he's really mega excited. So, see you guys in the airport! Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. Today I am going to explain about my journey from UK to India. As we know, India is in UK Amber List. So we have to follow some rules and regulations for Amber List countries. I am going to explain what are the things required before we travel. Please watch this video till end without skipping. We have a long stay parking facility at Heathrow Airport. It is always advisable to book one week advance for a cheaper deals. I think every terminal will have a separate long stay parking. From there we have uh, airport free buses to check in counter for every 5 minutes. Three things to be noted down before traveling. The first one is PCR test, second one is the passenger declaration form, third one is air suite form. The first one, PCR test. So many vendors are doing the PCR test for travel. But uh, I feel that the Boots is a best place and convenient place to carry out the PCR test for travel. And before taking the PCR test, so make sure you carry your passport for PCR test and book your appointment through website, Boots website. Um, and our name and passport number should exactly matches the passport. And uh, the last one is the test always to be taken 72 hours of your flight time. So it is always advisable to take within 72 hours so that report will arrive 24 to 48 hours. So we have a plenty of time if in case of any issue with the reports. Your PCR test reports will be emailed within 24 hours to 48 hours. So no need to go, go and collect the reports at boots and PCR test reports are strictly verifying at the check-in counter so make sure your name and passport number exactly matches in the report this PCR test is also mandatory for children's and be, check the age before you travel second one is a passenger declaration form so the passenger declaration form is different for different airlines so you need to submit this passenger declaration form before you travel so in check-in they will ask this is mandatory second check whether you have sent this passenger declaration form to the particular airways um, so I'm traveling with British Airways so British Airlines expect this passenger declaration form sent to them so email will be provided to the which this passenger declaration form to be sent so the forms in case of a in case of there are two two things you can submit either to online or you can sign it in the paper and send it to the email the best thing is to fill the form online like you submit the online details like your passport number name and the airlines information and name address and where your departings all the in informations need to be submitted in the passenger declaration form before you travel into india so after 15 to 30 minutes british airways will check and clear from their queue okay this passenger is submitted all this information about the passenger declaration form so without that the check-in they're not going to uh, check in your luggage and unless the British Airways clear this. This has to be submitted for all the passenger traveling with you. Another important form is Air Sivita form. Air Sivita form is, is a declaration giving to the Indian government like where you are landing it 
on which flight you're landing it all the information should be there so this can be filled by online or you can be fill the forms and send it to the particular uh, airport so first of all uh, the air visa form is the form are the same but if you fill this by a paper so you need to s they give the details and scan it and send it by explicitly to each uh, like you know if you're going for Bangalore so Bangalore airport is a different mail ID and if you're going for Delhi Delhi airport uh, is a different email ID so each airport will have a different email so all you need to send is like fill the form and then send it to them or is better thing is that to just fill the fill the online and submit them uh, or else once you land that again uh, they will ask this ace with the form so better to fill it before traveling it but once you land it it is difficult to fill and give it to them important three forms to be submitted before you traveling so make sure you have these forms are ready and uh, before you traveling it and and also like the all these forms need to need to submit to 72 uh, if don't for, uh, at least at least 24 hours of the time before you travel uh, it's submit these forms uh, relax and sit at home only before you travel because in this airport don't the signals not working the mobile signals are not working this internet may not be working and um, uh, we face with so many problems during check-in the, without these forms the check-in officer will not be able to check in your luggage without these forms make sure you reach the airport fires before and also the mobile should be charged 100 percent charged so before you travel uh, this is British Airways I booked it because I am traveling with the kids so it's a direct flight to, from uh, Bangalore to uh, from London to Bangalore so but if you are going through any passing through uh, countries like Dubai or Mid any Middle East countries so it better you take all the printouts of um, of your PCR test and uh, so with everything to be printed so they're not allowing soft copies so if you are not uh, coming with the printouts so they are asking to print this at their airport for that you need to go uh, and so little little far from this uh, within that airport and then get this only this Dubai currency so the printouts are mandatory for that Dubai in Dubai they accept only the the back their currency so better you take uh, uh, printouts rather than soft copies one of my friend recently traveled to Dubai through Dubai so he faces so many problems the passing through Dubai so they don't have it they accept only this printouts in British areas after entering the gate before taking the plane um, they give the providing this all the PPT kit face masks and mask and facial they are providing it so it is mandatory to wear everyone even the child need to be wear for all all these kids and so for if it is the same family uh, the middle person may not be may not be required to wear the ppt kit but if it is a different family you have to wear it so without this they are not going to allow into the plane the uh, British Airways looks like a very strict uh, when managing the uh, like following the rules like uh, putting a mask and facial even though if you sleep so they asking to wear the mask and facial so it has to be both should be wear if you say that like if you ask like ex exception like remove the mask and only wear the facial no so they are not allowing to uh, we every five minutes they are checking that whether the people are wearing a mask and facial so uh, after in, in the middle of the journey I just try to remove this mask and facial uh, we have is all three sorts all three seats are free so I just uh, slapped but even um, for five minutes so they're not allowing to uh, take the take out the mask
only allow to remove the mask when you are eating the food or drinking some fluids the food in british airways is not good so better you carry the food especially if you are traveling with the children oh finally we reached the bangalore now after 9 hours struggle so uh, with one hour delay uh, with the so which is a little horrible journey for with the mask face shields so so finally we anyway reached bangalore now so immediately the four teams are ready now so one team is taking to the receiving it and taking to the covid-19 test and second team is uh, taking the covid-19 samples third team is accepting the payments and the fourth team is checking the pulse so they accepting card or cash anything is fine so make sure your card is working and uh, cash is ready with them and each test is uh, for person is taking uh, 800 in bangalore but it dip varies from the airport to airport so after that they are taking it to immigration the immigration is very simple and straight forward no one is at the time no one is available it's uh, just uh, 10 minutes immigration for all the four for all the four people uh, so at the immigration point only they said like uh, so i we have to wait at least 3 to 4 hours to get the reports uh, to be done uh, so uh, so uh, finally we came and we have a waiting area there so we have to wait uh, until the reports come so we have requested many uh, many times uh, about us to go outside uh, because we have a domestic flight connectivity is there so we have asked them to uh, at least report to the domestic flight so they are not allowing at any cost to go outside from this room so it is they are very strict uh, they are not allowing to go outside for a you especially for a uk passengers so they put a stamp on your hand also the rule is applicable for only for a uk passengers only so we requested many times to go outside uh, because of the emergency reservation and also we have a domestic flight connectivity within 5 hours but still uh, the time is not sufficient for them so one hour delay and uh, has a Five hours within five hours, we are unable to catch the domestic flight. So final, but we missed the domestic flight. So and we have taken an alternative flight. So that we're going to explain it later. And the, the domestic flight rules also changing because there's a uh, huge crowd at the domestic uh, in domestic flights. So there's a huge crowd. So rules also changing for them as well. So better to have a long connectivity. Like, like a uh, long uh, time difference better to book this long time connectivity for domestic flight always at least 6 to 7 hours during that 3 uh, to 4 hours wait time at the covid-19 test reports they are giving this supplying this water so no need to worry about that and also we have a food counters Uh, uh nearby that so you don't need to worry about the food counters so we can go there and uh, some people come to the your seat and asking for a food order so you can place an order if you like to if you have any other questions please uh put your message in the comments i will respond you as well as possible I will explain this. Uh, what is a domestic flight? How I missed it? Uh, any new rules or change for a domestic flight? I will explain in next video. Thank you. Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, please like, share, and comment. Please subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.